Alrighty. So hopefully I picked up the uh, most recent version of your mission mod. Because it was because the description only said it fixed a bug that caused I think attack and defend to use the same uh, same template or something like that. I just finished playing some uh, blade and sorcery, and now my like shoulders are all sore. Uh, well, I kept playing that, but you know, if my shoulders are sore, then I don't want to push myself too far. Alrighty. Also, I picked up some new mechs. Because last night, I think, I did some no commentary pre-recorded stuff because I wanted to play Mech Warrior, but I didn't feel like talking, so I just pre-recorded it. So people who don't want to watch a no commentary episode can just skip it. And I picked up a stalker for a missile boat mech and a thunderbolt which is pretty much... A Thunderbolt is actually very similar to the Battlemaster. It just has more medium lasers in it. And I put a large laser in it instead of a PPC. Alright. So it has slightly less armor, but it has more missiles. And I think it's the exact same speed as the Battlemaster too, so... Yeah, I actually give this mech to, uh... Madreos most of the time, because it's normally me and the Battlemaster, Madreos and the Thunderbolt, and then Redding and the Redding and the Awesome. And then if those mechs are damaged, then of course we use other stuff. Madreos has been using the Night Star. I think Redding has been using the Crab, and then I've been using the Stalker. I've also gone back to doing uh, non-modded missions as well and doing some of the vanilla missions. Just to help break it up a little bit. It's not that your missions are bad. It's just bringing back the variety. Also, hello Nightmare. It's good evening for me, but good morrow to you. Yay time zones. Yay. Ooh, a commando. <laughs> it's the four laser commando again. Um, I have a lot of shit I can sell. Is that thing? Is that thing? Sell you. Don't want to sell that. So many locusts! <laughs> Oh, where the hell did this come from? I don't want it. Whatever it is, I don't want it. Wherever it came from, I don't care. <sighs> Strange, I thought the uh, official release date for the new DLC would have uh, been uh, would have been announced by now, but I don't think we've heard anything about the DLC. Spring, ugh. Dang. And... Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, something tells me we ain't gonna be able to bring much here. <laughs> uh, pfft, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in the Florentine. 
Or can I even fit the Thunderbolt in here? <laughs> hmm. You know, I could always just say fuck it and use the Raven. Get Kyle to Raven cord. I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, we could bring both crabs. Yeah, I get some of these legendary lasers destroyed. I would mind. <laughs> Gets Coyote Raven destroyed alive on stream. Coyote. Ah, I do not consent. <laughs> Also, I reinstalled MechWarrior 5 onto my SSD that I also have XCOM 2 on, a 2 terabyte SSD that I installed on it a few weeks ago, and it loads a hell of a lot quicker. <laughs> it's a difficulty 175 and you're telling me we got 20 people to deal with? What is it, like 20 tanks? Online. So yeah, I originally got the SSD Online. because XCOM 2 was taking like upwards of like two or three minutes to load a single mission, but now it's like 30 seconds to load XCOM 2, maybe 60 seconds depending on the uh, like the uh, scale of the mission, and then and then uh, with. Uh, What's it called? Mech Warrior 5, I installed that to the SSD. Hoping that would work, and lo and behold, it did. Guess what? SSDs are faster than mechanical drives. Who would've thunk? Who would've th This is only like a difficulty 175, so I'm not gonna worry about setting up on a hill or anything. I'm just gonna let my AI buddies go nuts. Okay, where the hell is this giant kill ball of Max? I know you're around here somewhere, but. Oh, there they are. Hardware loading mission is where it's kind of quick. I would install the mechanical hard drive. Uh, well, I also have like a bunch of other stuff installed on my mechanical drive too, right? And the more stuff you got, the slower it takes, so that's also probably a factor as well. Thanks, Redding. I missed your voice, to be honest. I haven't played MechWarrior 5 in, like, forever. The last time I played it was that no commentary, like, 30-minute random shit I did last night. Eek! I can imagine that no matter what I have XCOM 2 installed on, whenever I go back to do Long War, not Long War of the Chosen, fuck Long War of the Chosen, whenever I go back to re-attempt Long War 2, the original Long War 2, I have a feeling it's going to take forever to load no matter what I do. Yeah, I think I, I have. I think I have either a two terabyte or a four terabyte mechanical drive, and it's like at like and it's at like half capacity right now, with a bunch of other games. So, like I said, that's probably also a major factor. So much work on the game's engine since we've been running faster and more than chosen to play long, regular long. Word. Yeah, well, there's a there's a couple of uh, major campaigns that I never got to do before War of the Chosen came out and took over everything. One of them is Spectrum Green. I watched Durable's old playthrough of Spectrum Green and that shit looks like the bomb to me and I really want to go back and play that. And I also want to reattempt. <coughs> excuse me. I also want to reattempt Long War 2 because I thought it because I think it'd be, you know, fun to try and actually complete a Long War 2 campaign. Because the last time I tried it was way before War of the Chosen was even teased. 
And I kept squad wiping after Gate Crasher. <laughs> Maybe now that I've, you know, had a few years to uh, get kind of good at the game. Totally, uh, totally ignoring the fact that I almost raged to quit the better Civil War playthrough. That maybe I can uh, have a better crack at it. Now that it's been a few years. Oh good, no max. 24 salvage shares and I can only get these shitty weapons. Wonderful. <clears throat> Two terabyte, my old external drive, two terabyte, and one terabyte is the biggest hard drive installed, but my old hardware would not matter. Now, I also have a, a two terabyte external drive I use for all my videos and my stream VODs and my uh, video thumbnails and all that stuff. <clears throat> hmm. Could I possibly... Damn. <laughs> Dumb. I guess I'll keep using the laser grab. God, there's so many games I want to go back and play nowadays. But <clears throat> with getting a bunch of early shifts, I don't know if I have the time to dedicate to that. Like the biggest thing, ever since I got back into writing my Undercom storyline, I want to play Undertale again, and I want to stream Undertale again. Well, the last time I played Undertale, I pre-recorded it all because I wasn't streaming back then, but I want to play Undertale again! <laughs> anyway, talking about Ava today, he did larger than did you. Oh, I didn't watch that episode yet. I only watched his uh, Long War of the Chosen episode. I haven't gotten to his Enemy Within upload today. In the Long War series, watched the mission on the exact same app. It's crazy how Long War is compared to the original. Yeah. you know how to greet a new pal? Yes, Coyote immediately leaves the stream. <laughs> ah, what the frack was that? Like, the past couple weeks, if I'm not working, I'm either working on my stories, or listening to frickin' Undertale remixes. I, I'm going through another phase! I'm relapsing! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> In all seriousness though, say what you want about the Undertale fandom. There has been some very cool and creative shit that came out of the Undertale fandom in the five years that it's been out. And I'm actually pretty happy to be a part of the Undertale community as well because there's just some crazy stuff and cool stuff that's come out. But like all fan fandoms, it also has its, uh, you know, cringy side, so... Yeah, but that, that can be said for more than just Undertale, though, so, you know, 
every fandom has their creepy, morally questionable side, but hey. I don't consider myself to be a part of that, for the most part. I do have my cringy moments, but I've worked on those. I didn't revise parts 13 to 23 of the Undercom storyline for nothing. I had a method to my madness. I looked past, I looked back on what Horny Jet wrote back when he was still in high school, and I. Yeah, yeah, I needed to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Me's the opposite around. Watch the LDU video, not the long one, the chosen one. But that moment I'm hurt and achievements in the truck simulator, too. Enemy destroyed. You stop poking me with your lasers. But anyway, enough rambling about Undertale. <laughs> target acquired. Positive visual on the target, Commander. I've marked it on your attack screen. Ow! <laughs> oh, I just got uppercutted by a PPC. Ow! That one hurt. Uh. Get him, Thunderbolt. Keep him distracted. No, I'm just gonna go for speedies. Fuck it. Feet are almost completely gone. And never mind. Thunderbolt was like, fuck you. Melt his center torso. Oh, hey, that's a Draconis dropship. <laughs> it's Amaris! He's back from the dead! It's Amaris! <laughs> Kaya would, Kaya would know that reference. Never gets old. I like how I'm treating this as like a war zone, but it's just an assassination. We don't even get paid for killing all these little things. I didn't take any salvage. Oh well. Not that there was anything good to take anyway. Well, I don't. Why? Well. well <laughs> I see what you mean now, actually. Right, we don't get paid for killing the little guys because the contract only say, states that we need to kill the marked enemy. So, you know, that's what was negotiated. That's the whole point of an assassination. You kill one person and then you're supposed to evac, but I don't care. I really want to take something a little bit more beefier than this. No, it was a joke. No f oh. <clears throat> I 
guess I forgot to insert that emoji. So I'm guessing Coyote either fell asleep, left because of his headache, or left because I was blabbling about the game that shall not be named. Blab. Oh. I guess, right. Headache, headache, groggy coyote. Mm. I just thought I scared you off again with uh, UT talk. With UT talk. Bring the other trying to get the ECM disruptor tower. What the, the, the ECM? That sounds familiar. I think I saw that in Battletech once. Where it's like ECM support vehicles. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons Limited online. repair available at friendly base. Oh, so you actually... You actually got that implemented. Oh, damn! I did not know about this! Random chances to spawn towers on missions that disrupt your UI. Fun. I did not know you made that. It's actually pretty fucking dope that you were able to implement that. Now, is it like Mech Warrior 3 where you can command your allies to go repair? <laughs> or is it not that sophisticated? Now nice can't repair. Uh, fine. So what's the drawback of it? Does it just dock your pay or oh, we need done with their AI, yeah. They'd like need to like add like official repair bays or something on missions. No, you can repair four times, that's it. Ah. So it's like after I clean out all these vehicles, I can repair once and stuff. Oh, so just so I'm not completely befuddled by the enemies. Uh, On my way. Yeah, Mandreos can stay oh, here to defend the base. The helicopter almost landed on me. So, how does... How the fuck does this work? Probably should not be walking through the base I should be or protecting. Alright, Redding. Chill out here as I figure out how this repair works. Alright boys, how the fuck do I do this? I'm here. Do I just power down? Do I just power down? To the right? Oh, am I am I in the wrong spot? Do I just Me so confused! <laughs> it says it's right there! I don't have jump jets! I can't get up there! I can't get up That can't be one of them. Is it, is it, is it these? Is it these? Is it these things? What am I looking at them? Please tell me this is it. Okay. <laughs> okay, then I guess I just... E. Appreciate it, boys. And then I guess that one just stays open because I already used it. Or okay, no, it closes. All right, that's pretty cool then. All right. 
pretty cool. Yeah, because the one thing that always annoyed me about attack and defend is that you got ambushed by a bunch of tanks along the way to the friendly base. So by the time you got, like, to the enemy base, you were, like, all yellow and dark orange, and then you just get your shit shot off. Alrighty. And yeah, it would just... It would just mean I'd just lose more PPCs and shit would not be good. Alright, Madreos, you know the deal. You get the job of staying here and hopefully letting me know if anything bad happens to the base. I think I still have yet to see mercenaries or just independent factions on this mission type yet. Boo. I like how there was just a random single locust just chilling. Oh, this is Buddy. It's a flopter. It's a friendly flopter. Fuck yeah. Where do you think you're going? Oh shit, is that an enemy with narc? Holy shit, I never thought I'd see an enemy with narc before. <laughs> I just saw that right before... I just saw that right before the uh, enemy pilot... Uh, ejected. Part of my brain wanted me to say ejaculated, but... <laughs> Someone bonked me. I need to go to horny jail. Someone... But, but right before the pilot ejected, it's like... I saw that. I saw that narc. Hey, you're a fire starter. Friendly Flopter actually, like, here helping me. It is. No! Top 10 saddest anime deaths! Oh. He was so young! And violent! up here a little bit. I'm starting to get my ass handed to me here. Ow. Don tells me I'm going to want to go back and use another repair pod after this base is taken down. You are not allowed to escape. Morning, Reading. Thanks for that.
That didn't actually do any damage to me. That didn't do any damage to me, but I step on a tiny little gas pipe and all of a sudden my mech is melting. Is that how it is, game? Is that how? I keep on forgetting that the health bar at the top of the screen is not actually the base I'm currently at. process of trying to destroy every single tiny little wall. Spikes the dust. I am going to go back for repairs. Oh, I'm a little late for that. No. Oh. What are you doing over there, Madreos? Doing good? Yeah, that's good. Part of me kind of wants to leave Redding at the friendly base now, or just like take them both with me to the ah! last enemy base. Because things seem pretty quiet over there, so... two giant mechs stomping through the friendly base. Are you even powered on, Madreos? Are you <laughs> just sitting, sitting here watching fucking Netflix or some bullshit? Boys, I'm back. It's your boy Battlemaster back at it again. Calmest attack and defend I've ever seen. I, maybe I just got lucky today, I guess. 
E. I like how visually my mech is still a mess, but it, it, in, in practice it's still fine. I assume if I get like a limb knocked off, it won't repair that. I hope the old button is not assigned to order important when you have four mechs and you're about to demand the fourth mech that could cause issues. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna take both of you with me to the next one. As soon as we get like halfway to the last enemy base, they're gonna fucking send up an attack squad on the fucking friendly base. Wow, or important that was the German word slipping in. Speak of the devil! I missed all of my laser. No. I go with the same two mechs that attacked us last time. Thanks, Redding. Thanks, Redding. Thanks. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Making sure another dropship doesn't land over there or something. Why are you dunning? Why are you dunning? Are you though? Looks like you're running away from me, you little chick. Back here. You little. I will PPC you to death from here if I have to. Nah, it's missiles. Nah, it's more missiles. This is a fairly low difficulty attack and defend though, so I'm not surprised. Is this? No, okay, I was about to say, this can't be the actual base we're attacking, right? This can't... God, I guess I just got executed. Uh oh. Oh! Don't want you! Yeah. Thank God this thing's an energy weapon. Thank God none of my weapons require any ammunition. More enemy reinforcements. Target 
Still not dead yet! Oops, sorry Madreos. Oops. Given the uh given the Thunderbolt a little bit of LASIK. They don't try to make the enemy bases easier to destroy. Gotta make sure you get every single trash bin, alright? I don't want to see no recycling symbols on any freaking corner of this base, or I swear to God I will have your head on my wall. <laughs> to confuse people out max and EW as soon as you have laser weapons or plasma, they should in theory have unlimited. Ammunition because the power source, the mech armor, should be able to power this weapon. Uh, I know the uh, Advent Warlock mod for uh, XCOM 2 gives you like psionic weapon research and it gives you something called a psionic repeater that has unlimited ammo because it's like it's powered by the psyop psionic energy. So it's just free ammo. Which is weird because the commander's avatar also uses a psionic repeater, but it doesn't have unlimited ammo. Nice budget Death Star, by the way. Well, I guess to me, maybe it's not that annoying that laser or gauss-based weapons don't have unlimited ammo. Because in Plant Side 2, the TR have ballistics, the Vanu have lasers, and the T and the NC have gauss, but all their weapons require ammunition. 
gameplay wise it's to keep it balanced but you know from a lower standpoint it's in a lower standpoint the uh vanu weapons actually were actually are called battery packs instead of magazines so I guess that's a way to make it make it uh a little bit more plausible right so you can only have so many number of shots until your battery's depleted and you gotta re-change out the battery which could be the thing with plasma weapons and laser weapons in XCOM 2 it might not it may just be called ammunition for simplicity's sake but maybe it's just battery packs instead and you only have a certain amount of shots in those battery packs before you gotta swap it out If you get what I mean there. Those flat top rock formations make me nervous. Keep your eyes peeled. Yes. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Don't mind me just shattering my shins here. Speaking of shattering your shins, I fucking Fucking, uh, shattered my shin on a fucking, uh, cart today at work. Oh, I don't actually have to get so close to this. Uh oh. Madreos, don't go over there. Madre. Uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> Why are you using my expensive ass raven? <laughs> Cause Madreos is using the frickin' commando, that's why? And I don't- and I think you'd rather me pilot this thing than trust it to the AI, huh? Oh, thank God. Hard uh, turn. Enemy destroyed. Oh, my fucking God, I have to run through all of that to get to the evac. <laughs> <laughs> changing the power source, but the mech armor should have a power source that could be strong enough to maybe upgrade the I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, Coyote, I barely scratched the paint! <laughs> the fact that a cicada wanted to give me a bear hug doesn't help. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> See, look, I barely scratched the paint. It'll buff out. It'll be fine. Get some mech wax in there, and it'll be fine. But in terms of mech suits, mech suits, which are pretty much just giant mechs in Planet Side Two, still need their weapons reloaded. So, still only. I mean, I'm just saying it's one of, if not the only, plausible reasoning why laser and plasma weapons need to be reloaded.
Me. Touches Coyote's Raven. Coyote. Diagnose you with dead. <laughs> Because it's just balancing reasons, because in theory it should not be a problem connecting the weapon to a power suit of the mech suit. Yeah, well, listen, if everybody had unlimited ammo, then it would be a pretty freaking brazy game, wouldn't it? If you didn't have to worry about reloading the mech weapon, then you could just go around slapping motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just trying to provide a somewhat logical explanation, aight? <laughs> God damn it, Karuda, get the f get your fucking ass out of here. Nobody likes you. Grip on. Meanwhile, I have bad apples stuck in my head. Going with nothing but my hate and a carousel of agony. Till I slowly forget and my heart starts vanishing, and suddenly I see that I can't break free. Slipping through the cracks of a dark eternity with nothing but my hate and the paralyzing agony. Tell me who I am, who I was. Okay, I'll stop singing, God. <laughs> my mind and I see that I am very free. Even if I'd like actually be trying right now, I'd still sound like a parrot trying to talk. It's t when I try to say, "Oh my God, that's a bit of a spike in difficulty." Yeesh. That's a North Wind has an A4 system. Hope there's an Arctic planet or at least somewhat Nordic climate. North Wind and it's just all like frickin' tropical islands. <laughs> it's just... It's called North Wind and it's pretty much just Hawaii the planet. Oh yeah, that's the Thunderbolt I have. I like how normally the song is sung in, like, a different language, right, but it's in, like, a different language that's not English, but I don't know what it is. I think it's Japanese, but don't quote me on that. But it's like I've memorized the English lyrics at this point because I've listened to so many, like, I've listened to so many variants of it. Plus, 
I've like read the English lyrics so many times, I just haven't memorized at this point. <laughs> oh, this is against House Marak. Oh well. Oh yeah, by the way, Louise died. So I got this random guy <laughs> with fucking Merc Life glasses. <laughs> if under fresh sands it was a mercenary pilot. <laughs> if, uh... Listen, I didn't buy him for the stats, I bought him for his freaking portrait. <laughs> uh... I guess the Thunderbolt's like the best thing we got right now. When I start singing, I guess a lot of people would sue me because of psychological torment. Online. Sensors online. What the fuck we didn't online. even get walk out of the leopard oh, yet? Give us a sec. Line. Jeez. Jumpy motherfuckers. On our way. So I'll just kind of chillax here. At least I know that would happen, but unfortunately not every time. Target in position, Commander. Yeah, I know I can't really sing that well, and I've actually legitimately tried in the past, but it just didn't work out. I went through a singing phase in high school, it did not last long. Really terrible shot today. Alright, I forgot I put medium. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Fall back! Fall back! Fall back! Retreat! <laughs> Pretty sure that was Freeman's voice back. But fall back! <laughs> we got a Raider faction on the field! God, where's the catapult with AMS when you need it? Oh wait, back in the hangar. Ooh, hello there. I don't like you 1v1-ing my awesome here. Target 
Only one of the independent pirates have died so far. Get out of here, Stalker. Thankfully, Stalkers are not well known for their armor. And I'm overextending myself right now. Ow, ow. Does any of your mechs got LRM build, or is that more tactical mech warrior thing? I only have one mech that has an LRM build, and it's currently not in use right now. I, and it's actually a stalker of my own. Your guns are gone. Don't have to worry about you. Wait, are all your weapon systems dead? Yeah, they are. You're just not doing the thing right now. Yeah, please help tank some of the fire there, Madreos. And besides, the AI doesn't really handle LRMs that well, so it's not like I give the I let the AI pilot it. Oh, oh, what am I stuck on? What? What? Am, what? I like the AI LRM builds in Ava's career run. It was the most impressive damage, but good softening targets or sniper-based turrets, clean up duty. Mm. Yeah, the AI don't really handle that whole LRM thing well. Whew. Well, that was intense. Ooh. Can't wait to start my next XCOM 2 World of the Chosen run. Gonna be another Raiders World with frickin' three-way combat again. Fucking love doing those playthroughs. A job well done, Commander. Stand by for pickup. I said the tactical one was pretty nice, yeah. If the AI would actually lock on with LRMs, then it would be a viable choice. But since they don't lock on that well, it's not really worth it. Guess he gave up on prey, huh? Listen, I'm on a uh, quad monthly contract with prey right now. I only play it once every like four months. Uh. Listen, there's a lot of games that I haven't played in a while, alright? There's games that I started but never frickin' finished. Or haven't played in a while. Subnautica. Pray. It's 
Subnautica Prime. <laughs> That's why I'm like so worried about starting new games because it's like I want to but at the same time my schedule hasn't exactly been very kind to me. Uh, there's no melee in this game. Melee is only in Battletech. I mean, to be fair, melee would be kind of hard to balance around this game, to be honest. I'm not surprised there's no melee. Because you'd charge in and just get focus fired. It, I don't think that'd be really worth it. Picking an army with a banshee, guess that would look pretty nice. Everybody be kung fu fighting! <laughs> Fucking carve a hole in the frickin' Irby's cockpit. Attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. Now, sadly, this is warfare and not battlefield, so these are the, uh, these are the drunk pilots who forgot to actually get their mechs refitted before the fight began. One of the most hilarious things that have ever happened to me, or well, I guess us in Mech Warrior 5, has to be we found a Night Star at the store. The next campaign mission we did, we got a free Night Star for it. So it's like everybody was like, We've never seen this battle mech before, and Coyote's just kind of sitting there in his Night Star, like, Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> You can try to do evasive attacks having a melee weapon in Battletech. It's not easy to evade fire when commanding a melee mech. I like that flying mech that one time. Which one? There are plenty of clips in the clip compilation playlist of flying battle mechs. Oh, <laughs> And then, of course, there's the legacy of Morris. That's also in the top three of personal favorites. Why the fuck did y'all drop so bloody far away? Why the... Just a fucking, just, crowd of friendly mechs just charging the enemy location. <laughs> It's amazing that anything can grow out here. Target 
Oh no! Oh god. That night star just ended that man. No quarter taken, no quarter given. Yeah, that is definitely Freeman's voice back. Jeez, nice kickflip. Nope. Oh, bad game since I can't climb that. Bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get ready for some company. Yeah, I do any, any new ideas on mission types I can do. I just got back to playing the game. Ugh. I have no idea, fam. Yeah. That's in Turian just to let that happen to him. Tell me hurry up. I don't know! I don't... You have to disembark your mech and go pick up milk. Objective. Buy soap for grandma. Tip. Eating food will extend your life. Oh, poor Marauder just gave up on life. Poor Mar Ambush mission, told to defend the base, but the base is actually an enemy base and you get ambush. Isn't that pretty much patrol in a nutshell? Yeah. And the thing with patrol is that patrol is already randomized, so you get different variants each time you play the mission type. Making a specific mission type that you always get ambushed just seems kind of redundant. Guessing we made the base actually enemy on deterrence. 
Yeah, maybe I guess make it a uh, variant of uh, patrol, I guess. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Stand your ground until you can get evac. That's pretty much overwhelming forces. That's already a variant in patrol. You're being hunted by overwhelming forces. Survive for like a minute and a half, and then you just win an evac. an idea I'm not not into what missions written this game has. Yeah, I know it was just an idea, but you know, I didn't I didn't mean for it to sound aggressive if it did, but <laughs> There are the four vanilla missions, which is Warzone, which is what I'm playing now, Assassination, which is pretty typical. There's either one or multiple targets you have to kill on the map. Warzone is you destroy target number of enemy forces and then you evac. Demolition, which is where you blow up a base. Defend is where you defend a base. I think that's it. Warzone, assassination, defense, demolition, raid, which is where you go around the map. Raid is where you go around the map destroying specific buildings, and then you evac. I think that's all the vanilla missions. Coyote's mission pack is Battlefield, which is just a giant ongoing battle and you just kill everything. Attack and defend is where you got one friendly base and two enemy bases. You gotta defend your own and uh, destroy the two enemy bases. Recon is where you gotta patrol around the map while being hunted by overwhelming forces. And patrol, which... You start at point A, you go to point B, something random happens at point B, then you evac at point C, and something random happens at point C. And then the mission is over. And then rescue is where you spawn on the map, you go to point A, you clear out the enemies at point A, a bunch of friendly vehicles spawn, you protect the friendly vehicles for like a minute or so, and then you win. And, uh, Ah, no, cancel. Oh, wait, oh no, I waited. All right, oof.
Also, I know we're like an hour into the stream and all that stuff, but I also changed the paint job on the Atlas. Made it more dark, more toned to the other paint jobs we have. Like, yeah, sure, every paint job can be different, but I do like to follow a general theme. Sensors online. Weapons Black online. with some other secondary All color. Jesus Christ! Someone get a humidifier in here or something. God damn! Almost shot that Jaeger thing in the back. Guess I would color my mechs the same way, base color black, so I carry it depending on the weapons or stuff. No, I don't base it around the weapons, I just paint them however the hell I want. Black with some other color. Normally tends to lean towards more darker colors like purple and red, but Hey, look at that. We even have a decent chunk of allies left alive. Well, wow, nice dark green fitting the foresty areas, camouflage in general. Now, I don't really think camouflaging your mech really has an effect in this game. I think whatever you paint your mech is just purely cosmetic. Which doesn't bother me none. I don't really care, so... Maybe it looks nice. Yeah, I guess. I can see why some people would like to, uh, have that aesthetic fitting the environment that they're going to. on XCOM soldiers swallow it too well it has no impact. My XCOM soldiers looks like the frickin' Power Rangers with how varied in armor colors and patterns they are. Then again a lot of them are viewer characters and viewer characters like to go over the top but I do have my limits though. No pink tails and no short shirts. <laughs> 
from the Anarchist Children DLC. I just refuse to put that on any of my soldiers. The pink tails and the sword swords just look so fucking dumb. And I refuse to use it at all. Even if it is a viewer request, just fuck that nonsense. Wear some proper clothes. while giving me a chair in your campaign? I believe you've asked that before. But the reason why I didn't take character requests last campaign during the A Better Civil War run is because it was themed around Advent and no human soldiers were allowed. I think you did? You know that it was a long time ago. I don't know, before I start the next campaign, I'll do like a uh, pre-campaign setup and people can submit character requests there. Or you can wait till I start streaming and I can do it then, I don't know. Attention. Does that since I'm not planning on streaming XCOM 2 right away because I'm waiting for the rest of the uh, last campaign to upload? Because I don't want to overlap too Senses much XCOM online. on the channel, right? Weapons online. All systems nominal. I like how I'm the one who's... I feel like I'm the one who started the uh, soldier log trend on Ava's uh, channel. But I've been... Uh, but I've been just mainly like memeing recently on his... on his videos. Both barrels. Grazes. Everyone just like that. Everyone... Rebels existing. Chosen assassin. Your free trial of being alive has ended. Get out of the way, Orion! I'm trying to kill your friend! Uh oh. Ow! I. God damn! I just got obliterated! <laughs> My arm just got melted! Destroyed. Target acquired. 
enemies. There's still two things left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the follow. For giving me a freaking heart attack. Now let's get you all home. Head to the Eva points. Whew. I almost lost my second arm, too. I was almost disarmed. Huh? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Gave myself one with that headphones in pretty loud. Oof. <laughs> You're clear to board at Met Bay number one. Welcome back. Guess I returned the favor. <laughs> not the right time for that kind of jokes. Or I'm not drunk and that's the problem. Odd. Look at all the four pit medium lasers. Actually, a lot of good medium lasers. Right, I forgot I have like the laser based annihilator.
What about giving him a walk? ERPP sees a medium rager sounds like fun. Yeah, but he's also slow as balls. Ugh. He moves at the measly pace of like Mach point five. Like a mock. Takes him about five minutes to walk across the road. Change the medium lasers to the large lasers for additional range. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are only medium laser slots. Yeah, those are only medium laser slots. So I can't fit large lasers in there. No, I can't. It's not like Battletech, you can't just throw whatever weapon you want in whatever hard point. There are actually like size restricted hard points, so Yeah. Besides, if I put nothing but PPCs in that thing, it would explode the moment I'd fire it. it Too bad having a slow mech with medium range is not smart in my book. It is still very fun to pilot though. It can like one shot light max. If you hit him in the good in the right spot. Now you make now now you're making me want to pilot this thing, so now I'm gonna pilot this thing. Look at him. Look, look at the preview screen, too. It's like he's throwing his arms up. He's happy to be here. He's just hes just glad to be a part of it, you know? Meanwhile, the Night Star wants nothing to do with his bullshit. <laughs> and it's just looking in the complete opposite direction. It's like, I don't know him. It's... <laughs> Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. <sighs> yep. And a smooth 32. That is my maximum speed. Uh, the that is as fast as this thing trots. Uh, it's definitely not the fastest thing in the world. <laughs> it's just fucking dab. Ugh. I think we're just gonna post up at the top of this hill and say fuck it. Target 
Understood, Commander. Would help if I actually hit. There we go. I probably did something. Can't freaking tell though, I'm out of sensor range. I killed whatever I shot at, though. I think I We're being focused down now. Okay, listen here, you little freaking shit. Yeah, if you try to shove any more PPCs in this thing, it's just going to spontaneously combust. There was going to be a crater where I was, where I'd be standing. This thing runs fucking hot in this thing. But hey, there was a there was a catapult over there and now there's no longer a catapult over there. Yeah, hang on. It's gonna be like tomorrow afternoon by the time I get over there. <laughs> it's gonna. Copy. Forming on you. Didn't ha does didn't help that I was like missing all my freaking shots. Pretty sure the AI would be better at it than me. One shot wonder. Let's go home. You can't have a quick finishing time if you've never had sex before. Pro gamer move. <laughs> Pro Wow, that was like the Last of Us jokes, huh? Last time there were some jokes like, what is a scare crow awarded for her? It's outstanding performance in the field. The existence of watermelons can only mean there is an earth melon, air melon, and fire melon. These are the Ella melons. <laughs> I told that one to my co-worker and she just told me to leave. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Well, hang on a minute. That's a nice one. What's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? The snowballs. The s Actually, redding seems to be like the energy based. What do you call an old snowman? Water. Mm. I don't understand that one. Well, if you leave snow out too much, it melts. I remember the last thing Gaster said before he kicked the bucket. It was, hey, how far y'all think I can kick this bucket? Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Oh, I know that they stepped into a bra. I guess it was a booby trap. Moving to grid location. Did you hear what happened to the Italian chef? He passed away. He. Listen, I don't know a lot about Switzerland, but the flag is a big plus. Thunderbolt, what are you doing? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, stop. Thunderbolt, back off. That's why I told you. Mm, that's why. No, in German, so no really sense writing them. Hey, did you like the sausage I made ya? No, it was the worst. Worst. Fuck. I, I fucked that up. I'm sorry. I fucked that Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, the junk was so bad he tried to leave the stratosphere. <laughs> the joke was so... German watching an English stream. Destroy. 
ripping off your ears. Gonna take your ears as trophies. I bet you're feeling real irritated after that one. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I deserve that. Okay, I just lost a fucking another ear PPC. It's just... And that sign zone screwing around, that's happening, it's getting bright and it's 635 around here, so time for my last smoke and then heading towards bed. Oh, I'm pretty tired right now, this is probably my last mission. It's only like 1130, but I've also been working early the past three days, so I'm gonna like stay up tomorrow or sleep in tomorrow because I finally have tomorrow off. Yeah, I'm probably done here myself as well. Victory is ours, Commander. Prepare for evac. Target Poor Thunderbolt. Ooh! Poor fucking Thunderbolt. Man, I just put a bunch of good fucking lasers in here too, I think. I think that was a lot of the uh, good medium lasers we just picked up recently. The old problem with putting all your eggs in one basket. Well, I spread out a lot of the medium lasers. All right, this thing has like s fucking 10, 6, 12 medium lasers in it, man. What do you want me to do? What <laughs> Put a bunch of small lasers in it. Put a... Alrighty, well... Oh, what the fuck? the fuck? How did I end up here? Am I sleepwalking again? Uh, anyway. That is going to call it here for the day. So, thank y'all for watching. And I'm out. Peace.